Hey makers, this is Thruveen and in this episode, I am going to talk about one of the interesting Fluent UI component. This is the component as a part of Creator Kit package. We will be talking about Details View. I already created one video related to the configuration property for the Details View. But over here, we will talk about some advanced functionality of the Details View component which are like inbuilt sort feature. We will be talking about how we can apply this kind of pagination where we can go to the next page like this and previous pages like this and over here it will show you the overall count of the record. Let's say if I'm selecting any record, it will show me the selected record as well. If I want to redirect myself to the first page, using that I can redirect myself over here and all the columns are supported with the inbuilt sort mechanism like this. So how can we achieve this kind of requirement? We will be talking about in detail over here. But before that, if you haven't followed me on my Instagram and Twitter so far, do follow me. Also, one more important thing. 89% of you are watching the content but not subscribing the channel. So please do subscribe my channel and press the bell notification to never miss any updates from me. It's free for you but it gives me lots of motivation to creating the amazing content around Power Platform. So please do follow us. So now without further delay, let's get started and talk about this business case. As we all know that Fluent UI grade component is supporting the native Dataverse as a data source or collection as a data source. So here I have taken one of the data source Dataverse table. So my table name here is training enrollment and here I have different column student name, date of birth, experience, position. So basically I want to show this four column into my Dataverse grid as well as I want to apply the sort and I want to apply pagination as well on my grid. Now how to configure this details view component that is something we already discussed in our previous session. So we will not talk about that thing in detail. We will just do some fast forward revision over here. So as per earlier session to add this kind of details view what we need to do here is we simply need to add our details view component. So this is my details view component over here I provided the data source training enrollment and here I configured the column configuration over here. This is something in detail we already discussed in the previous session. So here I provided the name of my columns dataverse column. So these all are the internal name of my dataverse column and these all are the display name width I provided uh, I want to make this property bold so I provided bold and I want to apply the sort on every column so I provided call sortable property as true which is responsible for sorting of this particular grid as well as I configured over here the different fields so inside the field section I just added four properties over here student name date of birth experience and position so we configured field and column property so this is something which we already discussed in our previous session now let's say for an example what I want to achieve here is uh, currently I have total 19 records in my database but in a single page I want to show only 5 records and when I click on next and when I click on previous I want to configure couple of things. So let's see how we can achieve this. In the Fluent UI grid there is a property called page size. Page size means how many rows you need in your one page. So let's say here I am adding page size as 5 which means that at a time it will show 5 records inside my page. As soon as you add this component uh, page size as 5 you just simply need to navigate to other page and come back again. So that will take a reflection over here. Now you can see that by default 5 records are showing to me. Also every column is sortable over here. You can see this is my sort column, this is my sort column and this is also sorting properly. Right? So page size is the first property. Now we want to apply the pagination over here. So first of all to display the page number let me just take one label control over on the screen. So I just take one screen control over here and let's print the value of the page. So uh, let's say currently what is the page number let's print that. So I am just adding page and person what is my component id. My component id is fluent ui detail list dot page number. So you just simply need to type like this dot page number okay so you are getting that it is page number one when we change the page it will show two three depending on the how many pages you have inside your component 
okay so it is showing like this now let's say i want to print out the total number of records so for that what i will do is i'm just taking similar label control and same way how many records i do have inside my page i can get using dot total record property so the component id dot total record which will give you the total records and how many are selected record that is something you will get using the flu uh, current component dot selected items so fluent ui details dot selected items and we are just doing count rows plus zero so if there is no row it will show zero and selected so basically selected item we can get using selected item property and total record we get using total record property and simply we are just appending like this and it is printing like this so what happened here is whenever i'm selecting something like this it is showing me one two three it is depending on which type of selection you applied over here so let's say this is component and over here selection type is multiple none or single so if you don't want to apply any selection just select none so it will not provide you any selection option over here inside your component so now you can see that i i don't have the selection option over here but let's just keep multi select at this moment like this okay so it's done now we want to provide a feature like next previous button and on those next previous button whenever i'm clicking on that i should go redirect myself to the next page and redirect myself to the previous page so how can we achieve this kind of requirement so for that we need to configure couple of events inside this fluent ui component so let's check which are those event property we need to configure okay so first of all what i'm doing here is for a easiest purpose i'm just taking some button control over here at the end you can convert the button to this fluent ui icon as well it's up to you so just for our understanding purpose i am just adding couple of controls over here so i'm just adding few three controls over here control v so i just added three control okay the first control name let's provide next next page uh so the first button is next page the another button is previous page and this is move to first move to first and now let's write up the event over here now if we want to redirect ourselves to the next page we have one event and that event is something we are setting in one of the set variable so i take one variable set variable where grid event and the event name is load next page load next page make sure that this capital small and this case is perfect if you just do any spelling mistake here it will not work as expected okay and with that we are just appending the random number over here with this load next page similar way we need to create the event for previous page so over here let's paste the same code and simply we need to check here load previous page so just change the spelling here previous page and same way same code we need to apply on first page and for that one event is there which is load first page so let's change it so we configured this now one more important thing once you define this event copy this variable name and that is something you need to register with this component so select the component and there is a property input event just click on that input event and provide the same variable over here this is must step so once you define all your event on the button click you must need to register that event on your component so this is something you need to add here right now let's do one thing let's test this thing so i'm clicking on next page so it is showing me the next page i'm clicking on again next page and you can also see here the page number is getting changed as well this is fourth page and it is showing me like this okay and if i'm clicking on previous third page second page first page okay now let me click on next again and now let me click on move to first so it is redirecting me to the first page like this okay so this is how it is looking like now one more important thing i want to apply validations 
on the button like let's say for an example if it is first page then previous button should be grayed out and similar way when we reach to the end of the pages at this time next page should be grayed out so how can we achieve this kind of requirement let's have a look so for that we will just write a condition here like this is my next page okay so here you simply need to go to the display mode property of the button so let's go to the display mode so the condition is if this component dot has next page which means that if next page has some value then it is edit otherwise it's disable so what happen here is when we reach to the fourth page over here like this after that it is disable because has next page property will give us the false value similar way we need to apply the same condition on this two buttons so i'm going here going to the display mode and let's apply this property and has previous page we need to apply that if it has the previous page then edit otherwise disable and for the first page we don't want to apply any condition okay now let's move to the first page so you can see that when we select first page before that there is no such page so previous page is disabled if you want to go to the next select next 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 like this right so we applied our code on this three button now at the end if you want to convert that to this beautiful type of icons you can always create that so take some icons or from the creator kit itself there are couple of icons provided over here there is one component which is available uh, which is fluent icon you can simply use this icon like for this next button just provide the icon name as forward previous button provide the icon name as back and for this one provide the icon name as previous and simply you need to configure the exit on change event similar like button so exact same code that we have written on this three button i applied over here so that is looking nice right so this is how you can simply apply sort and pagination inside your fluent ui details view hope this video helps you and values your time if you are for the first time to my channel make sure you hit subscribe and press the bell notification to never miss any updates from my channel are you looking for any training or consultation the website link is available on the channel cover home page also if you are looking to follow me on instagram and twitter the links are available over here and don't forget to subscribe my another channel where i'm uploading short content on power platform with this this is thruvin signing off see you in the next session with some amazing content till then have a great day goodbye